The Significance of the Colors in the Nepali Cultural Practice Symbols hold a distinct significance in the progression of human civilization. Throughout history, humans have conceived, refined, and extensively employed diverse symbols, whether in the pursuit of sustenance or in the expression of speech and ceremonial conduct. Over time, as language, writing systems, religion, art, architecture, rituals, and other aspects develop, symbols emerge as integral components of human societal interaction. In Eastern religious and cultural traditions, the colors hold a position of great importance. Within Eastern civilizations, it is a long-standing practice to conduct various worship ceremonies and rituals using sacred water contained in a clay pots. Such vessels used for these purposes are known as colors. The colors holds a sacred status as a vessel primarily designated for holding water. Serving as a pitcher, ghat or sacred water container, it surpasses other vessels in its significance. During deity worship, the colors plays a central role in invoking the presence of the deity and as such, it is also venerated itself during the worship. The colors, along with the water it contains, is regarded as a symbol of divinity. The colors filled with water is ceremonially placed in a designated spot during religious rituals like Yagya and Puja. It is believed that by invoking the deity during various festival pujas and positioning the water vessel, the deity's presence is invoked within the pot. The colors, whether made of metal or earthenware, is adorned with decorations such as sandalwood, floral garlands, and ceremonial cloth as a part of this installation process. Originally, colors made of clay were predominantly used. However, as time progressed and advancement occurred, colors made of various metals became prevalent. Materials such as brass, copper, silver, and even gold were employed in crafting colors. The colors is regarded as a symbol of auspiciousness in various endeavors, whether it be in religious ceremonies, festivals, or funerals, as well as in everyday rituals like housewarming ceremonies or farewells. In religious ceremonies, a pair of colors is often used, signifying balance and harmony. Additionally, placing a colors at the entrance of an office, business establishment or home is considered propitious. In Hindu scriptures, various terms such as Kumbha, Nidhi, and Ghat are employed in the name of colors. These names are often prefixed with Vadra Adotsu, signifying auspiciousness. In the Rig Veda, there is a poet named Kalas, while in Skanda Puran, Kalas is regarded as one of the various names of Augustia. The ancient Sanskrit term for Kalas is Ghat, which initially referred to clay pots. Over time, with the evolution of civilization and the need to securely store water and other terms, God transformed into the pure colors we recognize today. Colors is believed to have originated from the Sage Augustimony. In the ancient world, the colors symbolized the universe. Subsequently, with the development of the mandala principle, it became an integral part of the mandalas and began to establish as mandal in worship and other rituals. The reason for invoking and installing the colors in the ritual of worship is the belief that the deity will come and reside within it. According to Hindu beliefs, God manifests their presence around the colors and within its vicinity. Brahma, the creator, is often depicted holding a vase known as the vase of wisdom. Thus, colors of Brahma symbolize the completeness of creation, signifying that all creatures and objects on the earth are encompassed within it. In Vastu Saitya, Kalas refers to the apex of a temple or chaitya. During the worship of Ganesh, the Kalas itself is regarded as Ganesh. According to legend, when Machinranath entered the Kathmandu Valley, he took refuge inside the Kalas in the form of a bee, fearing that Machinranath might be taken away. During the sign, the Kalas assumed the form of Bhagwati. Bhagwati Tulsa Bhavani or Taleju, depicted as formless, is symbolized by a sacred colors filled with water. In Buddhist culture, similar to Hindu tradition, the colors is regarded as a vessel containing nectar symbolizing immorality. 
Bodhisattva Padmapani is often depicted holding a colors, emphasizing its significance as a symbol of eternal life and spiritual abundance. In Tibetan language, the colors is referred to as Pumpa. According to Tibetan religious tradition, the colors is also known as Bumba. It symbolizes a vessel containing nectar and is associated with various deities such as Maitreya Buddha, Manla, Padmapani, Avalokiteshwar, Amitayus, Kuvir, Usni Vijaya, Vasundara, and Chunda. The colors represents a vessel always filled with water, symbolizing abundance and auspiciousness. An empty colors is considered inauspicious, a belief shared across different religious beliefs and traditions in Nepal. The colors is indeed revered as a symbol of prosperity, good fortune, purity, truth, and power. It is regarded as the abode of nectar that never runs dry. According to religious belief, reciting mantras and sprinkling water from the colors purifies the body, enhances knowledge, attracts good luck, and is believed that no evil spirits reside in the houses where the colors is present. The colors is thus associated with bestowing prosperity, purity, and auspiciousness upon those who venerate it. Indeed, the colors holds great significance in religious and cultural practice. It is often used to enshrine and worship deities during various rituals and festivals. In ceremonies such as marriage and other rites, the colors is typically installed at the sacrificial site as a precursor to other rituals. Its cultural, pure, and religious symbolism is widely recognized and respected in various communities. The use of the colors holds special significance in the Dasai festival celebrated by Hindus in Nepal. On the first day of Dasai, known as Katastapana, Maisa Surmardini Bhagavani Durga is installed in the form of decorated colors in every household. This ritual is especially unique in Kathmandu, where specially adorned colors containing flowers, banana leaves, sugarcane, and other items are brought from the Gorkha Palace to the capital on the day of Fulpati. Throughout the Dasai festival, the colors symbolize Goddess Durga and is associated with health and happiness. Nava Durga's symbolic colors are installed and worshipped in Hindu homes during Dasai. Additionally, the Ghata colors plays a significant role in Paya, Kharka Jatra, which takes place on the Dasami day following the immersion ceremony. The colors dedicated to the goddesses since Katastapana is worshipped regularly throughout the festival, with the colors itself being considered as a representation of goddess and anointed by the Acharya during worship. The colors hold significance not only in religious ceremonies but also in cultural and hospitality practice. In addition to its use in worshipping deities, there is a tradition of incorporating colors in welcoming guests. During formal reception, it is customary to place colors on both the right and left sides of the door as a symbol of hospitality and auspiciousness. Moreover, colors is prominently displayed in front of any auspicious occasion or event emphasizing its importance in various cultural and societal contexts. This tradition underscored the sacred and auspicious nature attributed to the colors in diverse aspects of life. Gueshri Peet is situated on the banks of Bagmati River in Kathmandu Valley. Mata Jagjagini Bhagwati Gueshri is revered not in human-like form but as an urn adhering to deeply symbolic Nepali tradition. Worshipping Gueshuri in the form of Purna colors or a vessel filled with water holds significant importance for both Hindu and Buddhist devotees because of the presence of natural spring at the sacred site. At the southeastern corner of Asan Chok in Kathmandu stands the renowned Annapurna temple. Within this temple dedicated to Bhagwati, a complete colors is installed as a symbol of Sri Annapurna Azima or Asabulu Azima. Similarly, in the Vatsala temple of Bhaktapur and at Pasupati Nath, the main idol is Purna Kalas, symbolizing Bhagwati. The Purna Kalas represents the success of all auspicious endeavor. Therefore, the Kalas is first established as a starting point for any auspicious work. Along with the Kalas, a lamp is also lit. Rituals related to death or inauspicious occasions are also conducted by setting up the Kalas. After lighting the lamp and offering incense, Naivedya, Janai, 
dill, barley, akchatan, lamb, and colors, other puja or shraddha rituals proceeds. The presence of the colors is considered essential in all rituals, whether related to birth, death, or other family and community occasion. In Hindu marriage, there are two primary methods of marriage. In Swamvar, where the bride selects the groom as her husband, the colors is first kept as witness. During the wedding ceremony, the bride holding colors is then welcomed into the groom's household. Cloth, copper, clay or other vessels are used as colors to welcome special guests. In Nepal, it is customary to bid farewell to departing family members by placing colors vessel. Similarly, when welcoming someone returning from abroad, the tradition of placing pots on both sides of the house is common. It is believed that anointing the water from the colors to a person suffering from illness or impurity can cleanse the impurities and bring peace. The genealogy recounts the significant effort undertaken by the Nepalese team Bandhu Datta to bring Machendra Nath to the drought-stricken Nepal Valley. According to the genealogy, Machendra Nath was transformed into a bee and sealed in an urn or colors to transport him from Mount Kamarup to Nepal. Upon arrival, Bandhu Datta created Bhairat named Hayagriv, Harisiddhi, Nanda Kunda, and Lupta Sambara to protect Machendra Nath, who was transformed into Avalokiteshwar Machendra Nath and brought him to Nepal. Kalas hold special significance in pilgrimages to Machendra Nath, regular pujas, festival, and fairs. In Nepali art and architecture, colors is used artistically and can be found at various locations such as the right or left side of the reception door, above the door, or at the head of the archive. The colors is often adorned with symbols representing various deities such as Vishnu, Lakshmi, Kuvir, Varun, and Bhavani. Additionally, colors symbolizing the goddess is depicted on coins and can also be found in Nepalese temple and chaitiyas. Thank you.